Wait, are these... Of course they aren't. What's wrong with those? Last time I checked, they were pretty tasty. I was hoping it was a special kind of apple. My parents used to bring me some from Maseo all the time. But the trading ban made it illegal to export them. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. They sell them like crazy in the markets of Maseo. Really? You need to take me there, Pro. We can make a brief detour, right? Maybe. Good enough for me! Wow, this is so soft. Aaron must have cleaned it last night. It is? Hold on, let me see. Seems like their priorities are in order. Oh, come on, you have got to check this out. I'll pass. Hey, this is almost a replica of mine. Whoever uses this has fine taste. It's been there ever since I got here. I have no idea who it belongs to. Knowing Aaron, it might be for decoration. It's a shame, though, it'll just rust away. A blade like this needs to experience combat. Oh, so you want to spar with me? I thought you'd never ask, Ulrich. That's not what I meant. What? Is it glued down? No, you're just weak. I'm not! Why is there a fireplace in here? Valinorth is always the perfect temperature. Isn't that because of the spiritual energy? Yeah, it keeps everything warm and cozy. Without it, Valinorth would be an icy wasteland. I think I saw the mountain peaks on my way up here. I wonder why the spirits chose this place to settle down. Oh, you must be talking about East Crown. Everyone wonders what's up there, but we'll never know. Don't say never, Fortem. I'm sure we'll figure it out one day. Lestia won't be unmapped forever. Not within our lifetimes, I'm sure. Probably not. Oh, that got a little dark. Good thing we have a fireplace to light things up. <sighs> what are these shields here for? Mostly for design, I'm assuming. Actually, I've asked Aaron about those. They were used during the raid on the Triumvirate. You know, the one where they stole the Blade of Exodus. So it's in memoriam, then? Something like that, yeah. And he said something about the fire in our hearts. Though I'm guessing that's related to the fireplace. The man has a reason for everything, I guess. It seems a lot of thought was put into this tavern. Tavern? Isn't it a bar? I've heard quite a few people call it Peregrino Bar. In fact, they even started calling it PB for short. PB? What an odd name. Wow, there's so much to choose from. Don't tell me you're planning on drinking for Tim. Why not? We have a lot of stuff to do. But it looks so delicious. Trust me, it's probably not as tasty as you think. From what I've heard, it's just bitter. And it burns. Sure, from what you've heard. You don't have to keep secrets from me, Valesa. What are you talking about? I've never had any alcohol, I swear. Don't worry, I believe you. Seriously? Aren't you two a little young to be drinking? Nope. Valesa is just being a spoil sport. I am not. Let's have some, then. Well, maybe. Ah, yes. Peer pressure. Wow! Mizeo looks so big, even from this far away. It's easily five times bigger than Valinorth. Try for ten, little one. Just stick by my side and you won't get lost. I don't feel like running around town trying to find you. Again, I'm not little! And trust me, I'll never get lost. I have a pretty good sense of direction. Says the guy who got lost on his way home last week. Valesa, it was dark! You'd have done the same thing in my situation. Not true. I was home a few hours before you. Just take Ulrich up on his offer for him. He's being nice. Who knows what the pirates would do to you if they found you alone. Okay, and now you're scaring me. Wow, I'm loving the stone path. We don't get that luxurious back home. You think that's luxurious? Almost the entire town is paved like that. Wait until you see the town square. It's so smooth. You mean I can even walk without shoes on? Of course. I do it all the time. Wow, that's so fancy. Hopefully I get some time to relax and explore. I'd hate to head straight into the Rebel HQ, you know. I'm sure you'll have some time. 
but not if we keep standing around. I think it's high time we get inside. Okay, cool. Wow, there's so many people in there. And it sounds super noisy. Is it always like that? Pretty much. But why are we standing here talking about it? You realize we can walk right in and see it, right? Oh, right. Guess I was just waiting on the seer. Wow, you can buy weapons here? I mean, they're just laying out in the open. Yeah, you can buy anything in Maseo. If it's not legal, then the pirates can get it for you. They call this place the Town of Infinite Connections. Wow. Hey, that one looks like your sword, Ulrich. Did you buy your sword from one of these places? No, my sword is ancient. Uma says it belonged to an Alarinthian legend. With just how well it's made, I think that's actually true. Wow, a legend? Explains why you carry it around all the time. Yeah, I'd hate to leave it unattended. Even when I carry it, people beg me to sell it. But it beats leaving it alone and risking theft. So you've used that sword for your entire life? I have. And I'll use it for the rest of my life, too. It shows no signs of wearing down. It's perfect. I can't say the same about the ones they have for sale. How far back does this town square go? To be honest, it almost doesn't stop. Maseo is pretty much one huge market. There's a few residential areas, but they're tiny. That's insane! Yeah, but you get used to it. Where do the people live, then? Most of them have small beds behind their market stalls. Those that are lucky enough to own an actual shop live inside of it. If you want to live in Maseo, you need to sell something of value. Or offer your services, like me with my sword arm. Yeah, you need to do something to make money. If you live in a residential area, that means you're rich. It's a sign of wealth. Like, you don't need to work anymore. I'm guessing not everybody gets that far. No, most people live on a day-to-day -day basis. If they don't sell something that day, they don't eat. That's crazy. In Valinorth, we share everything. We'd never stand by while Citizen starves. Yeah, you have it pretty good in Valinorth. But this is what I like to call the real world, Valessa. Valinorth was special. The rest of the world is more like this. Hopefully we can change that. Where do you think we'll be living after the war? If we survive, anywhere we want. Hey, this is where I got those apples. Still wish they didn't end up scamming me. You can never trust anybody around here. Even I get taken advantage of sometimes. Really? Yeah, I can let my guard down too. So don't feel bad about your mistake, Fortin. If anything, he learned an important lesson. Should we go complain? Maybe he can get his money back. There's no point. They'd never give it back. We'd only end up bringing more attention to ourselves. I think we'll just have to chalk this one up as a loss. All right. I'm sorry. You didn't do anything wrong. They did. I'll buy you more apples when I get a chance. The money I gave you could have easily bought ten. Ten? So, you ever drink this stuff before? You'll have to join me. I can pick out the good stuff. Without me, you'd just be wasting time. Half the stuff on display isn't even that good. To be honest, they keep a lot of the good stuff down there. Cheers, by the way. It just doesn't compare to what they had at Peregrino. Anyway, I'll let you take care of your business. I'm right here. What are these? Traps. Traps for what? Seafood. No. Oh, we don't have that back in Valinorth. How do these things work exactly? Well, these ones are mainly for lobster. It traps them inside and they're emptied out every day. Once a week, they're sold off in the market square for food. So you capture them only to eat them? Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. They're just minding their own business down there. Why should we snatch them up and kill them just like that? Because they taste good. That looks creepy. It's modeled after Balteas. That's what things look like over there. And that's where we're going next. Just great. Now I'm even more afraid. Who makes stuff like this anyway? Your guess is as good as mine. It doesn't fit in with any part of Alestia. Volteus is really distinct. It's kind of cool. I'll take your word for it. So what are these boxes for? I'm not sure. Probably food and supplies. 
It's a long trek to Alorinthia. You need sustenance. Oh, then where's our sustenance? I think we went through most of it on the voyage. Oh no! Are we gonna be in trouble? Probably. What? Oh, wait. You're joking, aren't you? Probably. Whoa! I've never seen this kind of tree before. It looks really cool. What is it, Ulrich? It's a pain. They're too thin and weak to be useful. All they can do is provide shade, but even that's weak. Hiding from the heat in this place is pretty much impossible. So you can't climb them then either? No, I wouldn't advise that. They'd break and you'd fall to the ground. I don't want to play doctor, so just stay away. Right, right. Thanks, Ulrich. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. I just told you to stay away from those things. Come on, Fortim. You're smarter than that. Is that a Laurentia? <sighs> it's huge. No, it's not. That's just immigration. Immigration? Yeah, if you're an outsider, you need to register. That is, of course, except during Dracu's annual ball. So we can just waltz right into the castle? Yeah. Isn't that a little dangerous? For us and the outsiders, yeah. Remember where we are, Valesa. Dracu could kill anybody in the blink of an eye. Letting in people from the mainland is no threat at all. Any threat to Alorinthian soil comes from Alorinthia itself. Of course, that brings about its own host of problems. Wow. You sure know a lot about this stuff. Unfortunately. Hey, cut that out. You have no idea what's in there. It could be drugs or illegal weapons. There are illegal weapons? Oh, of course. You have to improvise around here. Your goal is to always be stronger than everyone else. That requires some creativity, especially in weapon design. The Great Sword even originated in Alorinthia. You don't see many people carrying them on the mainland. I was raised with it, though, so I can't use anything else. Whoa, that's pretty cool. I wonder what I can find, then. What part of illegal don't you understand? There are laws in place to prevent more inhumane creations. But those laws fail to reach places like the town square markets. You could touch something laced with poison or worse. Just keep your hands off of this stuff and stay close to me. Always assume that everything here is out to get you. Wow, you make this place sound so luxurious. But all right, I'll do what you say. For now. Is this place always so busy? Yeah, it can even get worse. The busy hours are closer to nighttime. But not tonight, with the ball and all. Do people live in their market stalls? Like Nazeo? No, not really. They get enough business to have their own homes. It's actually the opposite here. Running a stall is a sign of wealth. So the more you work, the more money you make. See, that actually makes sense. Don't you think? Yeah, but it doesn't make up for the other shortcomings. The markets are busy and unsafe. People die all the time. It's a cutthroat culture here, so you're always in danger. If I could choose a place to open up a shop, I'd choose Mazeo. It might be harder and less profitable, but it'd be safe. You wouldn't get caught up in other people's fights. That happens here? All the time. It's almost unavoidable. You can't turn around without bumping into anybody here. It gets worse the deeper you go, but we won't go that deep. Of course, the flowing of alcohol doesn't make things easier. People are always rowdy, looking for some fun or a fight. You also wouldn't be able to get some peace and quiet. Right, all right, you win. Why do so many people do it then? I mean, set up shop and put up with that. Probably because they don't know anything else. Getting to the mainland is the last thing on their minds. Wherever you grow up, that's what's normal to you. I guess that makes sense. Valinorth is normal to me, and Nazeo is weird. But I bet it'd be the other way around for Dominic. Exactly. What's this place for? Security normally, but there isn't any during the ball. Anybody is just free to walk inside. Oh, okay. Is security normally heavy? Yeah, they need to fend off assassins. As a ruler here, you're constantly a target. I can't imagine living in that constant fear. Wait, what happens if a leader is assassinated? Does the killer become the new ruler of Alorinthia? No, the killer is usually given the death penalty. And then an open tournament is held to find the strongest man. It's considered cowardly to kill someone when they aren't prepared. Oh, I guess that makes sense. I was kind of wondering. I mean, Vivian could just easily assassinate Draku, right? 
But now it makes sense why they didn't go that route. Yeah, it would change nothing. Vivian would still need to fight. He'd stand no chance in an open tournament like that. A Colosseum battle is the only way for him to do this. Would people respect the change if Vivian won? Or would they want to fight him in the Colosseum too? And they'd probably want to fight him for a while. But a ruler can always turn down a challenge. Usually they're arrogant, so they don't do that. And it's not a change they need to respect. No matter what, Vivian is still in charge. He'd likely merge with the new monarchy. And at that point, there's nothing they can do. History's already made, treaties already signed. That is, if the monarch decides to side with Vivian. It seems like an easy choice, doesn't it? I guess we'll see. Now that's something I'd like to climb. Ulrich, what do you think about that? I'd rather you didn't. They might think you're breaking in. Or even worse, coming to kill Draku. Oh, maybe I'll ask him first then. Do you think he'd give me permission? I don't think he's the giving type, Fortin. He'd probably just laugh you away and call you a fool. Wait, really? Then what about this ball? Isn't he just giving all this stuff away? Well, yeah, but not for free. It's to win the people over, gain their allegiance. He's not doing it to be generous. He has a motive. True. I'll still give it a shot, though. The worst he can do is say no. Trust me, he can do far worse than that. Don't ask unless you're ready to handle it.